beautiful stuff. I'm here for you. You can trust me. You always sneak up. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be... Yeah, out of town on business. I, I know. Got canceled. Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, I never went anywhere. I went straight home. I saw you and Steffi together. Dad, please talk to me. It was what I saw... You and Steffi, was that the end of something? Or was it just the beginning? What you saw was a woman in tremendous pain. For years, Steffi has wanted her parents reunited. They've come close a few times, but it's never happened. She thought this was the one. It wasn't. She needed someone last night, Liam. And I was there for her. I mean, yeah, you've been there for her a lot lately. Stephanie, you worried me last night. It, the way you reacted after Dad left, nobody knew where you were. Sorry, if anything ever happened to you, I would just, I would feel terrible. I'm okay, Thomas. All right. I mean, you do seem better. Well, yeah, last night I hit rock bottom. And I just felt so alone. But then Bill called me. He heard. Yeah. Yeah, I was just in my car, crying, just freaked out. I, I, should, I should never have been driving. And he told me to just meet him at the cliff house. He rescued me again. Just like when we found out when your plane went down, he was there for me. And last night he said he's always going to be there for me. I'm glad Bill got through to you. I am. Just don't forget, he's married. <laughs> yeah, to Katie. No matter what I want, there's always, like, a, a Logan standing in my way, right? Bridge didn't abandon Steffi. He went back to his wife. I mean, if Thomas hadn't lied, then none of this would have even happened. Bridge made them believe that they could count on him, and then he bailed. Why doesn't matter? Not for Steffi. Bridge has never put Steffi first. Neither can you, Dad. Unless something's changed. Steffi was destroyed. She was saying things. She was as vulnerable as I've ever seen her. And I was worried about her. You really care about her. She's a remarkable woman. The brightest of the foresters for my money. Dad? No. All right? No, I did not sleep with her. She needed someone. She'll bounce back because she's tough. She will gain strength from this because that's how people like us deal with adversity. Steffi is a fighter. And she will end up using this to her advantage. I don't think her father appreciates exactly how special she is. I mean, I get it. You and Steffi have been through some real intense stuff together. Last night, you rescuing her brother. She counts on you. She knows I won't let her down. That I understand her. Yeah, like what it feels like to be abandoned. Steffi doesn't deserve to be treated as second best. And she ain't gonna put up with it. She's too smart for that. <sighs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's smart. Real smart. And sexy. 
beautiful. She's got a lot going on for her, and she knows it. But no matter how vulnerable she seems right now, don't forget that this is the same woman who took Forrester Creations away from you. She doesn't need a white knight. We all need someone we can count on. Don't we, son? I just want you to be careful. Whether he intended to do it or not, Ridge let them down. Ridge made Steffi feel unimportant. He promised Taylor and Steffi that they would have the relationship they have been waiting for, and he abandoned them again. I promised her I would never do that. You promised her you would never do that. And now you're going to promise me something. You're not going to say a word to Katie or to Hope. You're my son, and I expect your loyalty. You told me I could trust you, Liam. And that better be the case. <laughs>